Good morning, Ravens, and welcome to this week's edition of ONW Now. I'm your host, Reed Smith, alongside Kyle Smith. Let's get started. I can't do this all on my own. No, I know I'm no Superman. I'm no Superman. Last week, ONW put on a fashion show. Let's see how it went. Last Thursday, the Design and Trends class put together the Power and Lights fashion show. We talked to Ms. Potter about how putting on a fashion show is no easy task. And they all work on music, they work on uh, what the stage is going to look like, they work on um, setting up fittings for our kids to go to um, stores and try on clothes and get the clothes for the uh, fashion show. They make the brochures, they make the posters and the tickets, so um, it's kind of a whole production process. That the fashion show is a fun project that helps students prepare for a career in the fashion world. It um, helps teach the kids about event management, planning, producing um, of um, something that's trendy and, and happening in the fashion world. Design students Lexi Kaminsky describes the idea behind the power and light theme. So like very powerful in lots of like leather and patterns and stuff like that. Working on this project is very time consuming and all the hard work is worth it in the end. Uh, my favorite part is seeing it all come together and um, seeing everybody's outfits and the different trends that we have going. So, For ONW Now, this has been Kyle Smith. Back to you guys at the desk. Many of you have read the book A Fault in Our Stars. The movie is coming out and Candace has a review of the trailer. The Fault in Our Stars is a popular novel written by John Green, the Crash Course Video Man. Hi, I'm John Green. This is Crash Course U.S. History. The novel revolves around a 16-year-old cancer patient, Hazel Grace, who falls in love with Augustus Waters, an amputee. The Fault in Our Stars is considered a romance and coming-of-age novel and has captured the hearts of many adolescent girls worldwide. Recently, the novel has been adapted to the big screen, and on January 29th, the film's first trailer was released to the public. When watching the trailer, dedicated fans of the novel are disappointed by the casting choices. Augustus Waters described in the novel as dark-haired, blue-eyed, attractive, and rocker-esque. In the trailer, he is portrayed with light brown hair, brown eyes, and a jock demeanor. From the few quotes spoken by Augustus in the trailer, he seems almost stalker-like, asking Hazel personal questions almost creepily. What's your full name? Hazel Grace Lancaster. Why are you staring at me? Because you're beautiful. Hazel Grace is also a disappointment, described as having green eyes and a round face, but in the movie she is portrayed by the lean Shailen Woodley. Readers cannot help but be disappointed from these casting choices. The organization of the trailer, however, is magnificent. The trailer starts off with Hazel Grace imagining her life without her illness. The trailer then hits a turning point. The music changes as Hazel is shown with her oxygen tank meeting Augustus. Relating to Hazel Clody, I'm a grenade. One day I'm going to blow up, and I'm going to obliterate everything in my wake, and I don't want to hurt you. The trailer then previews the crucial plot points in the novel, translating the romance between Gus and Hazel. Then the trailer ends as it began, with Hazel Day dreaming. Despite the casting disappointment in Gus's portrayal, the trailer is entertaining and heartwarming. The Fall in Our Stars is scheduled to premiere on June 6 with a PG-13 rating and will no doubt be a great summer flick to see. Now it's time for game day. Last Friday, senior basketball manager Mason Andrade started a varsity basketball game. Drake Watkins has the details. Mason Andrade, a senior at ONW, has been a manager for the Raven basketball team ever since he was a freshman. Freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. Four years. Coach Grove talks about his impact on the basketball team. Mason Andrade has been a student assistant here uh, for the last three years. Um, he serves um, a lot of capacities. Um, a lot of basketball stuff, ba get the, the basketballs out, um, the clock. 
Mason has not only had an impact on the basketball team, but also has impacted Coach Grove. Well, Mason was there for me and my family, and his family was also there as well. So, again, uh, you know, Mason's a, a part of our basketball family. He's a, he's a, a close, close piece uh, to me, and, um, you know, I just uh, value his friendship and his loyalty not only to me but to our basketball, our basketball team. Being on the team for four years, Mason knows Coach Grove better than anybody. Uh, he, 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 he has a lot. Me, he always, he always, he always knows me because I, I, I mean, ran a, 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 long, a, a lot longer than anybody else has with him, though. Mason and his image for the team, school, and community are unlike any other. I think Mason's image is, is selflessness. Um, he does um, anything that we ask him to do. Um, he does it with uh, great pride and energy uh, for his school and for his team. And I think his teammates uh, respect that. Uh, I think the community here at Northwest and his peers respect that. And I know we as a coaching staff uh, respect uh, Mason and, and his selflessness and what he's given. Uh, to a late Northwest. For ONW Now, I'm Drake Watkins. Back to the desk. Thanks, Drake. Last week, several senior athletes signed to continue their sport in college. Sydney and Riley have more. Olathe Northwest was honored to sign off 18 athletes to play sports at the college level. Maggie Bird was the third Raven to be sent on a rowing scholarship to K-State. Two baseball players also committed, Chris Hendricks and Jason Cruz. Five football seniors are furthering their love of the game as well. Creston Bradley, Brian Goings, and Nathan Power are staying together as they head to Fort Scott Community College. Randall Byers will head to Butler County along with Pranav Tredi. The Raven soccer program sent off the most athletes, eight players in all. Bailey Williams will be attending the University of Missouri-St. Louis. Abby Moore has committed to Western Illinois University, and Jessica Beal will attend Ottawa University. Haley Moline is doubling up and participating in both soccer and cheer for Allen County Community College. Congrats to the signees and good luck as they further their athletic careers. For ONW Now, I'm Cindy Morrison. Keep it up, Ravens. High school students are easily distracted while driving. Here's a short video to help you prevent that. Thanks for watching this week's edition of ONW Now. For Reed Smith, I'm Kyle Smith. Have a great week, Ravens.